Hey Taurus, welcome to your love letter. Let's see what your crush wants to tell you, what you want to tell your crush. All right. All right. Why, why was Z the first letter that came out? That's a weird letter to come out there. All right, but that might have some type of resonance with some of you guys okay we have z and y all right what's all this unique stuff happening here all right so i'm seeing lay i'm also seeing ass okay i'm also seeing star like that ass is a star baby okay all right i'm seeing a star all right what what am i getting here because now i'm getting like a game energy like on your market set go all right um sun this is kind of exciting it's some type of exciting energy here it feels like a fresh start a new beginning something is over and now it seems like you guys can lay in the sun it seems like somebody could start all over here i feel like we have a new beginning a fresh start this could be a reconciliation this can be turning a new leaf having a breakthrough in a relationship all right so you figure out where you are so this this fresh start could be with someone else or it could just be a fresh start with yourself all right I, yeah, there's some type of breakthrough here about a root cause of something is what I'm getting. All right. And that that truth that came out, it helped to open up the door for a new beginning. Begin again, start all over again. All right. So the root cause of someone's pain. Hmm. Oh, this is nice. I don't know these these readings have this week it has been less of a love letter and more so of like a reading uh, so <laughs> but that typically happens sometimes when I miss on doing like the monthly readings so now I'm like okay I gotta I gotta get these monthly readings done because there's certain things that you guys need to hear outside of these love readings and I need to get to it um but yeah okay <clears throat> all right so we have that What else is going on here? All right. This looks like shadow work. This is not a love letter. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like a love letter. It could be a connection between... It could be a connection between two people where you guys did have to have some darker talks um, that brought things to the forefront. Um, it does seem like it was shadow work. It was shadow work between two people. All right. But it helped to create a breakthrough. And now someone's seeing this crack of dawn is what I'm getting. All right. I think it, it was some painful truths. I don't feel like it was the most fun conversations or the most fun epiphanies here. But it had to happen. It had to be done. I think there's a whole lot of still trying to work through and sort through what this means for you two. All right. Um, like, okay, where does this take us now? Now that we know the source of the pain, now that we know the underlying cause of why this hasn't been working out, what do we do now? Uh, now that I know what your love language is and I know what mine is, now that I know what you need to feel loved and what I need, how can we make this happen? How can we create better habits is what I'm getting here. Um, I feel like someone is like, teach me, teach me. Okay. Teach me how to love you. Teach me how to love you in a better way. Someone might've been more selfish in this connection and they're learning how not to be as selfish. Especially if it came to love languages, they might not have been trying to study someone's love language or when they did try to show love, it was like, I want to show you love the way I want to show it to you. I want to give you these flowers. Because it makes me feel good. And the other person's like, well, I don't like flowers. And they're like, well, you you should appreciate these flowers. They're like, but that's not my love language, you know? So now someone is becoming less selfish, more self, more, um, more, less self-serving. Because I feel like this person, uh, this is very specific. 
if this person wanted to show love they showed love in a way that made them feel um like a good person right as opposed to i'm giving i'm showing this love to make this person actually feel my love and there's a difference between that's what that that would change the game as to how you show love if this person loves roses and they hate daffodils but you like daffodils and you're like, I'm gonna give you these daffodils anyway. Then who are you giving that? Who are you giving the flowers to them? What's the reason for you giving them those flowers? It's just to make you feel good, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of things fell on deaf ears. I see. I'm getting deed here. I don't know. I'm getting these acts of services that were missing the mark. All right. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an aha moment. It's an aha moment. I feel like this person was totally oblivious that they were not hitting the mark is what I'm getting. All right. So even though this person constantly said, I like roses, and then this person kept bringing daffodils, they didn't even remember, like they thought that they were still doing the right thing. They didn't realize that they were just ignoring the needs of their partner. They were just like, I'm doing something you should it's a thought that counts but it's like well you're getting you're giving me flowers that I don't like so now I don't feel like you're listening to me right so it's that they they're having this aha moment like all this time I thought I was being a good person by getting you flowers and I didn't realize that I was just making you feel unheard and unseen because I was giving you the wrong flowers you know I wasn't speaking your love language and I didn't take time out to do it I thought it was only one way to make this work um, so things were just not clicking. Um, but I feel like it, it is a click now that somebody's try, or at least someone is trying to learn. This is a really, okay. This is just a whole deep, deep ass reading here. Okay. But this person's like, teach me. I'm willing to learn. I'm your student. All right. We have very soon. I feel like this can, as long as this person continues to be open to learning and changing, um, and adjusting their, their love, how they show up in love, things can get back on track. So this is looking very hopeful. This is definitely a connection with people who are, um, who are connected, it seems. Yeah, the reconciliation. See this new beginning, fresh start in this connection. I just feel like there might have been a bump in the road here. Um, the, it, it is saying pay attention to the red flags. There are still some things to work through. So whether this actually, because it really does depend on, on free will at this point, this person is going to have to put an effort to rewire, reprogram how they've been showing up in the relationship um, or do they go back to their old ways? Um, if they go back to their old ways, then it's probably you know just gonna go back on that off track. Um, but if they continue, it, it does feel like there's a lot of effort needed to change the tra trajectory of this connection. There are some real clear red flags in this situation though, um, but it can be worked out and smoothed out with some real work and effort and study. All right, that's what I'm getting. Um, you know, some connections are a bit easier than others. This one seems like a connection that requires a bit more hard work, all right? I was in love with you. See, this person was so like oblivious to they they had their heart was in the right place so they thought that they were doing the right thing and they just completely like kind of neglected and not saying completely but they kind of neglected their partner's needs um and all this all the while they thought that you two were like madly in love it's just it's interesting but they're learning now it had to it was it was a hard truth that had to come about it was a hard conversation that needed to be had. And now this person is healing. It's time for me to heal now. I couldn't let you get close to me. There's a part of them, a part of their programming that was sabotaging this connection. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, this person is still in love. They just have to learn how to love in a way that their partner wants to be loved. Okay, these readings this week have been a little bit extra. Um, they, they weren't as fun, so I do apologize about that. All right, but I uh, hope you enjoyed anyway. All right, peace.